So you're just saying you started following Dr. Bono's a week ago. Yes. And here you are today. Yeah. And I'm looking Very at your happy intake. To meet you. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to meet you too. And uh, you came in and you circled off several different things here from headaches, dizziness, fatigue, yeah. hand and finger numbness, radiating right arm pain, yes. low back, and then pain and numbness shooting down the leg too. That, yes, my left leg. Oh my goodness. So talk to me about, let's just say you got to pick one of these and you could get rid of it. Which one would, would it be? Which the one headache would you, right now. Yeah. yeah. How long have those been going on for? That one has only been like two weeks. It's been going on for two weeks? Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. is it something that's been occurring like daily with it? or? Mm, yeah, daily. Okay. Yeah. But uh, before that, I never had uh, headaches. Only the neck pain. Only the neck pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. So the way the body works is that it gives us alarm signals. Okay. Mm -hmm. And something could start off with, let's just say, a neck pain. And then if you don't listen to the body, yeah. it can start traveling up. And then it starts to give us something like a headache. Yeah. Okay. So how long have you been feeling the neck pain for? Since 2007 or six, yeah, I got injured. Yeah, years. I got injured in uh, Magic Mountain. Fourteen years of neck pain at Magic Mountain. Oh my goodness! Mm, yeah. So what happened? I put my head out at the roller coaster mm -hmm. because I knew where was the the camera at, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a picture on the roller coaster. And I stuck my head out, and then I got a, like a really like a whiplash yeah. thing. And nothing happened. I was fine that day, but then with the months, and I got this like super bad pain in my neck. So almost, never got therapy or no. Anything. Over those fourteen years, you didn't do anything for the neck pain. Uh, yoga, special pillows, um, but that's it. Have you ever been adjusted during that fourteen-year period? I went with the piso. Therapist? Physiotherapy, okay. Yeah. Did they ever, you know, adjust the neck, that, cracking, popping Yeah, noise? that's the thing they did, that only the neck, they poop, they popped it up. They popped it up? Yeah, that's okay. it, but that's it. Okay. They did so, it in Mexico. <laughs> in Mexico, okay. So we're going to do things a little bit differently here. But talk to me about the low back, and you said that there's some sciatica occurring as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. How has that been happening for? Uh, maybe like a year or two. A was, year or two, yeah. Was there a particular onset? Was not the roller coaster again, right? No, okay. no, no. Good. That's recently, yeah, yeah I think. Um, maybe I had like a very bad posture sometimes. Is it a, 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 at work? Is it primarily sitting down? I don't work right now. I used to work yeah. two years ago. I was like in the computer sitting down for a lot of hours. Yeah. Cool. So that's something that we commonly see. Yeah. And what we're going to do with you today is I'm going to do an assessment. We're going to take a look definitely up here to see if there's mm -hmm. anything going on that's contributing to your headaches. Definitely going to take a look lower down here to see what's happening with, um, with that neck discomfort and okay. your low back. I, I'm for sure no because I saw the x-rays that I have uh, straight, straight, uh, straight neck. Yeah. Okay. And when did you get the x-rays taken? Oh, like five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't bring them because I didn't know. Okay. Well, well, we can discuss all that, in, uh, you know, afterwards as well, but definitely what I'm going to do today is do uh, an exam on you, see what needs to get adjusted. We're going to get you adjusted. And as far as getting adjusted, the cracking, the popping noise, you're comfortable with it all? It cracks all the time. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and lie face down for me here. You're going to have big deep breaths in and out. Right here? Yes. So just relax the face right there. And we always want to take a look and see what is it that we notice. <laughs> With Miss Brenda here, certainly there's some rotation. With this light here, I'm going to just balance that out for her. And she's coming in fairly even. Looks pretty good in that position. And I see you're wearing some athletic shoes. So are we still into exercising? That's something that we're doing regularly? Uh, not right now. Not right now. Okay, awesome. <laughs> And is there any pain or discomfort here? No. Okay, all the way relaxed. Perfect. So, Brenda, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking for any areas in your spine that are not lined up properly. So what I notice here on this side, this is all moving really great. But then as I press down on this lower left side, it's restricted. So if I press there, what do you feel compared to this side? Is there any tenderness or anything no. like that? No. No? Perfect. So what we're noticing with her here is that there's restriction, there's rotation on her sacrum. There's no tenderness occurring there, which is a great sign for her. 
but certainly we want to open this up. So we're going to take a look and see what her range of motion is like. I'm going to place my hand right here and keep your leg as straight as possible and then lift it up as high as you can. So straighten your right leg and then lift it as high as you can, the entire leg. Okay, and then back down, left side, back down. Brenda, what did you notice with those two? Um, oh, it was more difficult on the right side. So we had some challenges on the right side, and certainly we could tell that where it was moving, you know, we didn't get it up that high, no. and it was also, it was kind of hard for her to move that. Yeah. And what I'm feeling, as I touch into her low back, this feels like a super, super tight rope. Yeah. So your low back muscles right now, yeah. while you're laying down like that, they're actually supposed to be relaxing. So her muscles are not yeah. supposed to be working. They're supposed to be on vacation right now. These are muscles are supposed to work when you're standing. And as I touch into her lumbar spine, lots and lots of tightness and restriction, some mild spasms occurring upon touch here, and we've got very limited range of motion. So, Brenda, what we're going to do with you, you're going to have this side up facing me first. You're going to lie down on your side. Gonna, yeah, just like that. Straighten your bottom leg. Straighten that bottom leg. Perfect. And then we're going to bring this arm right here. Your head's going to be all the way relaxed. And what we're going to do is open up your lumbar spine here first. So you're going to take a big, big deep breath in. Let it all relax. Let that leg fall. Perfect. One more time. Big deep breath in. All the way up. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh Other side. Wow. Bend this right here for me. Let that relax. Perfect. So right here on your sacrum, that's where we're feeling that there's there you go. Right now your body's tight and it's tense, so just let that roll over. I want you to focus on dropping that knee there. Perfect. And breathe out for me one more time right there. Breathe it out, breathe it out. <sighs> nice. <laughs> wow. That was a good one. Let's go face down. Wow. Amazing. Brenda, we're going to retest that again now, and I'm going to get you to let me know afterwards what it is that you notice that's different, okay? Yeah. So go ahead and lift that right leg up. Beautiful. Now the left leg. Awesome. What did you notice? It was easier on the right side. It's easier on the right yeah. side for her. Yeah. So what we're noticing as we palpate into her spine now, that this is moving a lot better, which is amazing to feel. Tension has decreased in her lumbar spine, and we're going to work our way up. So if I poke in here or here, is that tender on you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what we're going to do with you is a special adjustment here. I feel like a lot of her tension is built up over here. We're going to lift this head up all the way relaxed and we're going to release right there at the rib. Breathe out, breathe out. Beautiful. Let that relax and then breathe out, breathe out. Perfect. Right up next, what's going to happen? Bend this for me. Bend that right there. Take a big deep breath in, mid thoracic spine, we're gonna open up, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Wow. <laughs> Flip on your back for me. How did those two adjustments feel on you? Uh, great. Great, what are you noticing? Uh, I feel a little bit more relaxed. Awesome. Yeah, like the tension. So what, I'm, what we're gonna do with your hair, you're gonna actually lift your head up for me and you let me that, grab no, you're perfect, just like that. So everything's gonna be nice and relaxed. And up next, what we're gonna do is a traction move just to open this up. I feel lots of tension that's built up. So we're gonna have this all the way relaxed here. Beautiful, and then breathe out for me. Awesome, awesome. And one more right here, all the way relaxed. Beautiful. Amazing, <laughs> sit on up for me. Swing the legs on over this way. How do we feel? I feel good. I feel really good. Good. Yeah. Now, one of the things I noticed with you is that there's a lot of tension I that was know. being held up here, okay? And the reason I adjusted you while you were face down like that is you mentioned to me that initially your neck pain, it was just neck pain that you had, yeah. and then it traveled up to become a headache. And right there in, on her back, and folks at home as well, yeah. if you feel behind your shoulder, 
right around where your scapula is, your shoulder blade is, if you touch into there and you have some tenderness, and as you travel up, if that tension tenderness goes up to the neck, that is neck pain that could potentially lead to a headache because those muscles get super tight, they restrict your nerve flow and your blood flow going up, yeah. and all the headaches and the neck pain are is just your body's way of saying, I don't like what you're doing to me, fix it. Yeah. And that's what chiropractic helps out with. So yeah. awesome, was there anything else that you wanted to add in? Yeah, thank you so much. That was amazing. Yeah. See what happens? She just followed me a week ago and now she had her first adjustment. Yeah. Amazing. He's my new doctor. Yay! <laughs> thank you, folks.